Hello, my beautiful collective. It is me, Mystic Intellect, with you all today. Today, we're going to do a pick a power card reading on when you will conceive. All right, we are not doing anything else but the timeline. So, pick a number between one and three, pick a pile, should I say, between one, two, and three, and give yourself a moment to digest, to sit with your intuition, and you know, tell yourself, like, hey. This is the number that I want to go with, and then we're going to go ahead and move forward with this reading. But before we go ahead and get into this reading, we're going to just say a quick prayer and get started, all right? So thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, for blessing me with the opportunity to read for the collective at this time. All I ask you, please protect the energies of the spread at all costs and provide nothing but the honest truth. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So if you choose, if you chose card pile number one, or should I say, if you chose card number one, this message is for you, okay? If you chose one, this is for you. When will the collective who chose card one, when will they conceive? When will card one collective conceive? All right, so we got the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is an air element, okay? The air is talking about winter season. Swords could also mean within months from now as well. Let's go ahead and get some specifics. Please tell me the zodiac sign or the time frame, the months that they will conceive in 2023. Ace of fucking coins. Seven of cups. Wow. You guys got options. Um, Spirit is giving you options. Spirit is giving you an opportunity to choose your own destiny at this time. Ace of Swords, Ace of Coins, very abundant. New beginning energy, okay? Will they conceive in 2023, Spirit? Yes, you will. Eight of Coins, you will conceive. You will conceive in 2023. All right. Please give me a zodiac sign, Spirit. Sometimes Spirit just likes to explain something, some things before they just give an outright answer. All right. Three of coins. So that is telling me that you're going to conceive. You could actually... Wow. Okay, so Spirit is saying that you have a choice. You have a choice. Um, This is Capricorn season of 2024. Six of coins. Lots of coins. Energy is coming up. Give me one moment. Wow. Okay, so there's... there. Okay, so this is what Spirit is telling me. There's many of you all who are going to conceive between May 1st through May 10th of 2023 this year which is next month okay next month between may 1st and may 10th are um very very strong strong um signs of conception and if something gets in the way and something happens because there's a lot of strong strong like big boss moves coming up for you that may actually take a lot of your energy and time away you may actually conceive during capricorn season of 2024 between january 1st through the 9th Okay, so that's your second time frame. So the first time frame is, let me write it down so that you guys can see. So the first time frame we have here is May 1st through the 10th. And then the second time frame is January 1st through the 9th of 2024. This is 2023 here, okay? So that is my uh, prediction for those of you all who are watching this video, okay? All right, so if you're watching this video and you're wondering your time frame of conception, the first half is May 1st May through the 10th. Second prediction is January 1st through the 9th of 2024, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and pull a message for you all. Spirit guys, please let me know what message your spirit has for group one. The penguin, so the penguin is talking about 
the period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. So whatever you've been going through, honey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be just fine, all right? So whatever dark energy or that dark cloud that you feel has been over you, it is now passing. All right? Thank you, group one, for your time. We're going to go to group two, all right? So if you chose group two, this is for you, all right? So thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, for blessing with the opportunity to read for group two at this time. Please take what resonates and leave the rest, all right? This is just a guide from spirit to assist you along your fertility journey. As a lot of people struggle with this, okay? A lot of people struggle with this and just need guidance. All right, spirit guys, please show me. Will group one conceive in 2023? So this showed up in reverse. I just wanted to know what it was up right. Higher font, the sun in reverse. Very tricky. Something about a marriage, something about a commitment, something about family structure or values is showing up. Let's go ahead and check out 2022. I mean, 2020. Ooh, something could have happened in 2022, by the way. Let me know in the comments if something occurred or happened in 2022, okay? Let's check out 2024. Will, they, will group two conceive in 2024? There's some fears, but I am picking up strongly increased intuition during 2024. Something feels tricky. Somebody here may not conceive this year or next year. Just take what resonates, you guys. Please show me 2025. Will this group conceive in 2025? Okay. 2025 looks like a better year for group two. All right. The reason for that could vary for a lot of you all. Okay. Three of Swords talks about a breakup or some deceptive energy. Be careful about who you're trying to have your child by. That could have a lot to do with it too. Um, be careful of the relationship that you're in. That could also have a lot to do with it as well because um, spirit is trying to help you avoid any type of traumatic experiences from occurring in your love life. So really be careful who you're trying to have your child by. We got the moon and the king of cups. So there's some fears here um, about um, having a child. But this year, um, with the sun in reverse, the higher front upright, and the five of swords in reverse, I don't know, someone here could have, had, could have been having complications with their conception as well. That's showing up. Please clarify the first row for 2023. Yeah, there's, um, someone's going to be ready to take a leap into an, an unknown, and you're going to need all the energy that you have left in your body this year to pursue whatever it is. Hangman. So, and you may be on the fence about someone or something here. And spirit is may even be urging you to not make any decision and to wait in regards to conceiving this year, okay? That's just what spirit is telling me. It's not me having any personal issues, okay, with this group, all right? I just want to make sure y'all know that. That's what the cards fall out this way. But 2025 looks very promising, though. Give me a timeline. Give me a time frame. Give me a zodiac season on when they will conceive. So, I'm just going to take it up right here. Give me a season. Too many cards, though. Give me a zodiac season when they'll conceive. All right, so we've got between the spring and we got we got the springtime showing up and then we got autumn. That's what, that, let's narrow it down a bit. Give me some dates. Give me some dates. Give me some dates. Okay, we got the seven of coins. So that's telling me May 11th through the 20th of... Okay, so we got May 11th through the 20th of 2025, okay? So they said between the spring and autumn, but May 11th through the 20th, 2025. Okay. Give me a second date. Damn, that's crazy. So the first through the 20th of May, Spirit is saying as well. Um, Five of Wands is also showing up. So that's between the July 22nd through August 1st of, of Leo season. So let me drop that down as well. 
Because that's the fall. That's Yeah, that's touching fall season. July 22nd through August 1st. So, Spirit was not lying. All right? Those are my two time frames for you guys. Like I said, Page of Cups is spring. Ace of Coins is fall. May 11th through the 25th. July 22nd through August 1st are my time frames for you all who chose group two of 2025, okay? Sorry, that took a lot more cards than usual, but that's why I asked you to split you guys up in groups because there are so many different messages coming out for you guys. Please drop a message for group two, Spirit. Okay, we got Spirit is favoring y'all today with these messages. So you got the cheetah and the polar bear. The cheetah is saying... Get clear on your intentions, stay focused, and move quickly to achieve your goal. So there may be some delays because there's some goals that Spirit is trying to push you towards that could be causing a delay in conception, okay? We got the polar bear. Stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to the outcome. So don't be afraid of standing your ground here. 1111 just showed up, so this message is for someone. I wholeheartedly believe it. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, Spirit guys. All right, so now, if you chose group number three, okay, pile number three, this timeline is for you, okay? All right. Thank you, Father God, Holy Spirit, for blessing me with the opportunity to read for group three. I ask that you please provide nothing but the honest truth and bring clarity. Take what resonate and leave the rest, you guys. Amen. All right, so will conception happen in 2023 for group three? Okay, we got the three of wands, the temperance. Yes, a lot of you guys have been very patient. Oh my God, yes. So group three, you're going to conceive this year. You guys have been so patient on um, building your empire. Um, This looks very abundant. This, look, this looks very promising. It looks like a lot of people have been planning, 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 planning. You could be a fire sign, and you, or specifically a Sagittarius, you could be an earth sign, okay? Or have that in your chart. All right? Wow. This is amazing. All right, so please give me a time frame for 2023. Please give me some dates. Give me some dates. Nine of Swords. So Nine of Swords talks about June 1st through the 10th of 2023. I'm going to stand by this date, okay? So June 1st through the 10th of 2023 is going to be... Actually, let me be fair about it. Give me another date. That's the first timeline. Second timeline is the lovers. The lovers is Gemini season. Gemini season is between May 21st and May uh, in June 20th, okay? The lovers. So get, I'm going to give you guys a second date. So anytime next month, okay? So May, May 21st through June 20th of 2023 that that's a wide range but there's a lot of y'all that may watch this video or come across this video at some point with different experiences okay so 2023 of this year okay june 1st through the 10th may 21st through june 20th all right let me know when this all comes to pass you all comment down below how this all will resonate for you over time and I look forward to better serving you guys, all right? And then we got the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you are very intuitive and will know and will feel it in your bones when it happens, okay? Please drop a message for group three. We got the humpback whale. It says music is essential to your healing and well-being, whether singing, playing an instrument, or listening. Incorporate music in your everyday life, okay? Spirit is saying it's going to help you along your journey with fertility. And it also may even benefit your child even more, okay? Thank you so much, group one through three. I look forward to better serving you all. If you would like to take a screenshot of these, feel free to do so. Of these time frames. I look forward to just finding out what happens. Um, whether you conceive this year or whether you conceive um during the year that I predict because you know everybody got different things going on in their lives so whatever happens if anything changes feel free to come back for another video about um time frames re in regards to pick a power readings I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing plenty of these so um if you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and I look forward to better serving you all have a beautiful rest of your day